Now, speaking of Nigeria, domestic carriers there are seeking a financial bailout in order to remain aloft. Operators say the industry is facing the worst financial crisis that has ever been seen in the country's aviation history. So far, however, there's no precise figure for this emergency bailout that has been made public. Here's Kelechi Mekalam with more. These carriers could be grounded if they don't get an urgent government bailout. Their problems range from scarcity of dollars and imported spare parts to more expensive fuel. The industry has already lost more than $100 million due to rising fuel costs, forcing airlines to cut operations by 40%. The cost of doing business in the aviation industry is becoming enormous. They want it to be reviewed. They want waivers. We have had waivers for spare parts. It takes time before even custom allows some of these things to, to, to go. Uh, the waiver has not also been comprehensively accorded the, the recognition it should be. Any spear pass that any, uh, any aircraft operator or airline operator is bringing to Nigeria ordinarily should be tax-free. There are unconfirmed reports that some carriers are abandoning their aircrafts in hangars abroad as they can't afford the maintenance expenses. They have problems bringing back the aircrafts home. I'm aware of another one who just got a brand new aircraft of recent who also had problems paying back, you know, to the manufacturers where he bought some of his aircraft because of the escalating cost and differences in our in, in the Naira and the, the dollar rate. The bailout request is another indication of just how unstable Africa's biggest economy has become. It's still too early to measure the effects of the aviation industry meltdown, but some international airlines have already pulled out of the country. Kelechi Mekalam, CCTV Abuja, Nigeria.